Welcome to Text Aloud, the text-to-speech software for the Windows PC that converts your text into natural-sounding speech for listening on the PC or almost any favorite portable audio device. Text Aloud is available in a free trial for fast, easy evaluation, so check out our other videos on downloading the free trial, getting started, and purchasing Text Aloud along with its great selection of optional premium voices. Today's video will demonstrate how to use Text Aloud as an assistive technology tool with a terrific Bookshare service. Bookshare is an online library of digital books free for people with print disabilities. Bookshare works to make the world of print accessible to people with visual impairments, visual disabilities, physical disabilities, and learning disabilities. Qualifying individuals may use the service to download books, textbooks, and newspapers in a compressed encrypted file. They can then read the material using adaptive technology such as TextAloud text-to-speech software. Now we'll look at how to use TextAloud to listen to a Bookshare book chapter by chapter and how to convert it to audio files that you can take with you for listening anywhere. Start TextAloud. If this is your first time using the program, click the Speak button on the main toolbar to listen to the default text just to make sure everything is working smoothly for you. Thanks for trying text aloud. To listen to this text. Next, click File, then Open. Locate the folder where you downloaded your Bookshare book files and highlight and open the XML file for your Bookshare book. It will now appear as an article in text aloud. Listen by clicking the Speak button. Some minor text editing will now be needed to facilitate splitting your article, currently the entire text of your Bookshare book, into separate files by chapter. The chapter headings are usually titled with numbers like 1, 2, and so on. Type the word chapter in front of the 1, preceded by an asterisk and followed by a space, so that it will now read star chapter space 1. Copy and paste star chapter space in front of all of the remaining chapter number headings in the same manner. Save these changes by clicking File, then Save Article as a Text File. Next, use the File Splitter utility in Text Aloud to split the main book file into smaller text files. Click Tools, then Utilities, then File Splitter Utility. For Input File Path, browse to locate the text file you just created in the step above. For Write Split Text To, choose Text Files. For Split Method, choose Split by Keyword. Under Split by Keyword Options, click Add, then type in Star Chapter Space. Next, click Split to split the file into chapters. You're now ready to use the Batch File Converter utility to convert text files for each chapter into separate MP3 audio files for ease of listening on portable devices. Click Tools, then Utilities, then Batch File Converter. Click Add Files, then Browse to locate the folder with your book chapter text files. Then hold down the Control key and select All Chapters. For Output Directory, locate the folder named Audio. For voice, select your chosen voice from your assorted voices, whether free or premium, 
such as Crystal, shown here. To sync with iTunes, check Add Audio to iTunes Playlist. Go to the top of the utility window and click Convert. When all of the files are converted to audio files, you can then listen in Windows Media Player Star Chapter 4 The Rocket Boys Move in IH Did anyone have time to open a kid's letter? Yes, and it bounced on waves of laughter through the NIH Division of Research Grants. iTunes or transfer to your favorite portable audio device. This has been a look at how easy it is to use text aloud with Bookshare. For more information on Bookshare, visit www.bookshare.org. And for more information on using text aloud, be sure to check out our other helpful videos. Meanwhile, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, or visit the nextstep.com website for even more information and support. Thank you for choosing Text Aloud for your text-to-speech needs, and as always, thanks for listening.